What's up guys, Lockout Men here in the truck back again with another video for you. This topic right here is seven tips for safe driving near a truck or a commercial vehicle or a big, a, a big vehicle, any vehicles. Seven tips for you guys to know and understand what to do when you're around these commercial vehicles. So seven tips. While seemingly every driver should already know, you know what I'm saying? You, you should already know this, but a lot of you don't. So check it out. Tip number one is avoiding blind spots as an industrial truck usually has more unseen areas that block more significant amount of room than a passenger car. Get out of our, get out of our blind spots. We, if you directly in, in the back of the truck, we can't see you. And if you like directly riding the side of the truck, we can't see you. Right along here, right along here that you see, that you come up on the side right here, you come up on the side right here, this, this is potentially the blind spot right here. We can't see you. I mean, we can use our Colvax mirrors right here, but usually we can't see you if you're gonna ride along the side of us right here. You know what I'm saying? There's blind spots everywhere. There's blind spots right along the side of the trailer as well as in the back of the trailer. We can't see you. That's that's number one. Avoid the blind spots around the uh, commercial vehicle. All right, number two. Always, always, always use your signals. That's how we talk to you guys out here. That's how y'all talk to us. Y'all let us know what you about to do by your signal. You getting over to the left, signal to the left. You getting over to the right, signal to the right. If you slowing down for whatever reason, use your four ways. Damn it, man. We all got them. They're on trucks, bikes, motorcycles, all that stuff. Use them. They're there for a reason. Use them signals. Me as a truck driver, when you use your signal, that lets me know that you're about to do something like this man right here. Give you a thumbs up, player. And look at that. He got he he rolled up about 20, about 20 feet ahead, signal, and got over safely. He did not cut me over at all. I like you, man. Thumbs up. Use your signals. An essential security pointer that you always adhere to while traveling around a commercial truck is to use your directional signal before you transfer lanes around these vehicles. Utilizing the directional signal will allow the truck driver to see your intentions as well as adjust appropriately so that you can make your motion safely as well as stay clear of a collision. See, let me tell you something, all right? Without, without signals, that's what they're there for, okay? They're there for you to use to let us know what you're about to do. Same thing with us in return. They is there for us to use to let you know what we're about to do. Use those signals like that dude. I'd give him a thumbs up. Yes, sir. Give the truck room. All this space right here, we need. We need all this space right here to maneuver. Semi-trucks, as you can see, right there in the background, J and R Swoogle. Semi-trucks are larger than your four-wheel vehicles, okay? I'm just saying, we need more room to maneuver, okay? Our room to give us our own little zone. And don't come in it, you know? Don't come in it. Driving around a commercial vehicle raises the probability, the probability, damn it, man, I'm, I'm tongue-tied. Driving around a commercial vehicle raises the probability of 
being in a being in an accident or a crash. So another reason why you want to give us our room to maneuver, because anything liable to happen, like like high winds could like push the truck over into a rollover. Uh, we can have a we can have a tire blowout blowout. Have you ever seen? Let me let me show you something. You see these tires right here? You see that right there? Look, man, when that thing blow out, it takes out the entire side right there. Have you ever seen a, a, a steer tire blow out? It is not nice. A steer tire blow out right there? That shit crazy. You don't want that to happen to you while you riding on the side of a truck. You know what I'm saying? When that tire blow out, all that shit gonna come right into your car. I'm just saying. Number four, pass safely. Now, it's always easier to pass on the left side of the truck. We're able, we're able to see you. We're able to see you. We're able to know what you're about to do. You're coming from around us from the back. You're coming up on the left side. I'm able to see you right here. And, and it's cool to pass on the left side. It is simpler for a vehicle driver to see you if you are taking the trip on the, on the truck's left side. Pass on the left while maintaining your rate of speed and signaling effectively, waiting to merge back into the vehicle's lane until you can watch the drivers in your rear view mirror. Listen here, if I'm about to get over into the left or get back over into the right and you're steady on my side that's trying to keep pace with me, slow down, all right? Either slow down or speed up or get out the way. Get out the way so that I can get either get over so I can let the flow of traffic pass or get back over into, into my slow lane so that you guys can have a constant flow on the left. You don't want to pass me on this side right here. You just, you just don't. You want to pass me on this side. This side, no. This side, yes. Number five. Yo, adjust your lights. The lights, yes, the lights is what we use to communicate with you guys. Hmm. Adjust my front lights. What well, you you know? There's ways of 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 driver talk out here in these roads, and the lights are a good way to communicate with drivers out here. Our headlights, our side lights, all these lights right here that's flashing, right here, y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? That's how we communicate with you guys. You know, we let you know. We, we need to get over to the right, we flash to the right. Get over to the left, we flash to the left. If we want to, you know, if we could get you, get a chance to get you to come over, we'll, 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 we'll flash our lights right here. Six, prevent distractions. Look at here. I know there's been plenty of time, well, there has been plenty of times. I've seen a driver, and this is a truck driver. I've seen a driver with his truck driver headset on, with his cell phone on his ear, and his foot up on the dashboard. If that's not distractions, I don't know what it is. Is is a way to communicate with drivers out here. 
So you definitely, during your pre-trip, you definitely wanna make sure all your lights are working properly. Number six is a big one. Number six is a big one. Number six should actually be number one. I, that's, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip it around and make number six number one, all right? So the number one thing, which is number six, by the way, I got one more, but I'm putting it as number one. The number one thing that you guys should always do, prevent distractions. Look at here. I know there's been plenty of time, well, there has been plenty of times. I've seen a driver, and this is a truck driver. I've seen a driver with his truck driver headset on, with his cell phone on his ear, and his foot up on the dashboard. If that's not distractions, I don't know what it is. Hey, yo, thumbs up to you, bruh. Thumbs up to you, man, I got you. I got you, bruh. Prevent all that shit. In the four, and you four wheelers. Yeah, I see you. Y'all be on the phone testing. Yada yada yada. Y'all be on the phone talking. Yada yada yada. Women, y'all be in there. Come on, women. Y'all be in there putting on your your on your makeup. Do all this stuff before you leave the house. Diversions while driving. Take your focus off the road as well as controlling your car. Placing everyone on the road at risk. You should always remain focused on the road while driving and stay clear of any type of interruption. And last but not least, seat belts. I got mine on. You got yours on? I think I'm gonna put numbers. I'm gonna put number six as number one and number seven as number two. So two is seven, seven is two. Use your seat belts, all right? I know you guys feel uncomfortable wearing the seat belts and everything, but hey, if you get into an accident, that seat belt could help you from going through the window. Come here. Y'all see that window right there? If you don't have your seat belt on, it's gonna be you through that window, okay? I'm just saying, some severe accidents will make the seat belt malfunction. Uh, when you get a chance, get yourself a pocket knife, all right? A pocket knife, just in case the seat belt should malfunction, you can at least use the pocket knife to cut the seat belt and you can still get out the safe. That is the sec that's the seven points to seven tips for driving safe near a commercial vehicle. And that's for everybody, not just four wheelers, but for us truck drivers too, all right? So, if you like this video, yo, don't forget to like, subscribe. Yo, hook me up with a cup of coffee. You know what I'm saying? A couple of dollars here and there, you know. I'm just saying. Uh, hit that bell on the way out the door. Say thank you for grace. Thank you for mercy. Thank you for understanding. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for parents. Thank you for love. Thank you for kindness. Thank you for humility. Thank you for peace. Thank you for prosperity. Say thank you in advance for what's already yours. That's how I live my life. That's why I, why I am, one of the reasons why I am today.